Our next presentation is Dittmer uh, Mueller from Shell, advancing OSDU data platform integration, bridging gaps, empowering applications, and demonstrating progress in our project and workflow services working group. Dietmar? Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Dietmar Müller. I'm, uh, in this context, the capability lead for the project and workflow services work group here in the OSDU forum. Um, I've got two of my partners in crime with me, um, Terry from Accenture and Kat from EPAM. Um, they've been also part of this work group and among others. And um, what we're gonna present to you is uh, what we do in Project and Workflow Service, uh, what it actually is, uh, where we see the future, and where we need your help or your participation. Yeah? With this, um, I start the actual presentation. Um, so first, first, what, what is it and, and why does it matter? Yeah? So that, that's, that's the main two questions uh, I guess people have. Um, the, in the timeline below, you see how it all started. Um, it's an initiative that's um, only one year old, but um, we've come quite far. So we, we've created uh, working software already, um, which will be, uh, which will be uh, able to be tested by, by the ones who, who want it. And it all started off um, with the uh, realization that uh, OSDU as a data platform, great thing, but it's, it's still too much of a database and not a, uh, a system, a data platform or a, uh, that, that can provide more than just the database aspect from it. Um, some call it a system of records, yeah, a system of insights. Um, so we, 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 we have not enough of a uh, system of insight uh, content in it, we thought. Um, and, and hence, um, that originated in, in, in Shell and, and, and other um, parts of the OSDU forum and, and for OSDU forum members. And it resulted into um, an aha ticket. So um, that was a proposal to the forum to um, add capabilities to it. Um, so that was formulated about uh, a year ago, and we got great response. Um, so many people said, uh, this is exactly what we need. Uh, we always thought something like this is, 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 is needed, but no one kind of uh, took, took the initiative um, really um, to bring it on. Um, so, and after the AHA ticket, we, 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 we basically built um, a coalition of the willing and um, progress it to the stage that, that, that we have it now. Um, I mean, it was just a year from publishing that ticket and standing uh, now here and reporting out to you that we have working software. I think this is, this is pretty good. And, um, Usually the, the forum activities are somehow uh, associated with being very, very slow uh, at, at times. And um, that's not true for our work group, I would say. Um, it, it, went, it went quite, quite, quite good. So, so what, what is it, what, what we created? Um, and, and what's in for you? So that's the main question. So what, what, what are the benefits of, 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 uh, of, of using this and having it? And um, we've illustrated that here, uh, the four bubbles in the middle are basically different stakeholders. So as an end user for an OSDU application, how, how would you benefit from it? So it's, it's a better way to interact with the data and the data platform. So as, as I mentioned in my little intro, um, it's too much of a database. So uh, files are uploaded and administrated, but what what happens actually if someone wants to do something with that files, create new versions of it, and and work on it in workflows and in in the usual subsurface uh, applications? Um, there's not much that that uh, OSDU provided at that initial point to it to create like uh, a project. There's no notion of a project. So as a group of data I want to work with, a seismic cube, a few wells, and a few markers, I want like a volume estimate from, from, from that. 
um, is there a way of grouping this data? Um, what if I'm in a work group and I have intermediate work uh, products that uh, need to be stored and shared somewhere? So is there a way in OSDU to, you to, to, to provide that? The answer at a year ago is, was no. The answer uh, today is yes. Um, so we've created this functionality to group data into a, a, a collaboration, a project a collaboration. Um, we we um, basically administrate a list of that data, uh, which is just references to data. It's not copying anything, so no, no, no concerns on that. Um, we facilitate sharing. Uh, we notify, we have a notification system that if an item changed or is about to change, a notification can be passed to others, e either a machine or a person, to take appropriate actions. So um, this, this, this is a backbone f uh, functionality that, that basically put that database into a business context. Yeah. So for the, for the um, end user, I think there, there are obvious uh, uh, benefits in this. Well, what is it for an ISV, so, so the companies creating software? Um, having defined protocols doing this um, helps. You can cook something up yourself right now, yes, but it's, it's, it's not good when it comes to interoperability and, and different uh, applications working seamlessly together. So to have these protocols, what to do when, uh, make makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, what's in for the OSDU forum? Um, of course, um, standardized access patterns to application for applications uh, will, will will facilitate the uptake and 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 manifest as a standard of of doing this, uh, uh, which 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 is very beneficial, of course, of building the ecosystem out. Yeah. Um, we tried to do, uh, or we have actually um, uh, succeeded not to uh, introduce any breaking changes so um, to what's already there, very important, I think, backwards compatibility. Uh, it's not mandatory that you have to use it, but you can use it, and our changes did not uh, upset anything that's already there. What's in for you as an operator? Well, we want to build an ecosystem which is very, very diverse, and uh, anything that, that helps in that for that regard is, is appreciated. As in CSP, of course, it runs in the cloud. Uh, it, it, it clocks uh, CPU cycles uh, that creates money for you. Um, you provide the storage. Um, so it's obvious, yeah. So um, what, what is not covered, um, what I just described, uh, uh, it sounds like a very, very complete and big package, but in reality is, is, is not so much. Uh, it wasn't very much required to get this all done. The building blocks were already there. We basically just lined up the building blocks. Yeah? So what's not there is a user interface. So um, if you want to make the case of, uh, uh, to your company to, 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 to get active on this um, and you want to showcase it, um, sorry, it will only be a uh, postman or curl. So it will, um, it is nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, we see any anything that has to do with with a user interface in the commercial space. Yeah. Um, so the forum here provides the framework um, and, and and nothing more. Yeah? Um, what, what what would you need to um, adopt this? Um, well, obviously, there are code changes required in your application to ho hook up to the services. Um, and, of course, a UCSP provider needs to also adopt, have it, have it in their code section. Yeah? Um, it's specifically the namespaces need to be implemented, in, in, uh, which is the case for AWS at the moment and uh, partly for Azure. Um, so I hand the mic over to Terry. Thank you, Dima. Um, I'll take us through what the uh, progress we've made so far to date. Effectively, what DeepMars has just covered is putting a system of engagement on top of a system of record. And like you said, there's a lot of services that are natively available in OSDU that we can utilize in order to do that. We put together a fairly simple solution design, and which was supported by six or seven ADRs. Uh, as of now, three of those ADRs have been accepted. 
We were looking at what effect it would have on the rest of the OSDU core services and what effects it would have on things like DDMSs and whether or not there would be any breaking changes. One of the elements we also wanted to look at was um, getting defined use cases. So getting something actually in paper, on paper, that defines the workflows around which we could actually build the, the project and workflow services service so we could actually be used. The, it was the, 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 and we broke our project pl plan down into effectively looking at the development, what it, what it is that we'd need to develop, um, the dependent services, uh, the governance around it, and defining some of these use cases. We then moved on to start to actually build through the application. It's very simple, to be honest. It, it's, it's not much more than create, read, update, delete, but doing it in an abstracted manner so that we can separate what exists inside OSDU and can be engaged with from a project perspective. So what is it we actually needed to placate? It was how could we initialize a project and how could we look at searching through some of those projects and sharing those projects with people within our organization or within your organization specifically so that you can make that collaboration use case a viable option. How do you execute on that project? So what is it you need to be able to, to do inside this collaboration space area? And how could you publish? So once you've, once you've worked through one of your projects, what could you do at the end of that project? You would assume that at the end there would be new data that you want to publish back into the OSDU so that other people could use that data in the future. Effectively taking system of record data, putting it into a system of, a system of engagement, using that in your applications, and then publishing that back into the system of records so that future users can leverage what the work that you've done. Uh, and effectively, at the end of it, uh, closing your project, saying this is it, the project's finished, we're, we're done. Um, and how do you do that? So we, we, we've put in place a lot of the mechanisms to be able to do that. We started up a project, um, when did we start with the developers? It was about January time. So in January, we kicked off what we were doing. Uh, we run a very tight ship, so we have, we have a team of very good developers that um, have been provided by EPAM. That are, that are working very well on it. We have got a very good support network from the uh, Accenture team, so Hugh's in the, in the audience. He's been helping out a lot with what we've been doing. Uh, we have daily stand-ups. So every single day without, without fail, the, the, the team meet up. We go through the same process. What are you doing today? What did you do yesterday? What blockers have you got? And that's enabled us to be able to progress quite rapidly in what it is that we've been developing and able to produce something of value and demonstrate that value quite quickly to our stakeholders, mainly Dietmar at the moment, and the rest of the people that are in the PWS subcommittee. I don't think we quite made um, the MVP in time for the next release of, of OSDU, but it is available for anybody to be able to download and test against. Um, so if you want to look at what it is that we've done, I think we'll be sharing a lot of the links to the, to the work that's on the um, Slack channels and on, and on Git, and I think the code will be available. I know we're, we're working on it at the moment on AWS, but I think anybody should be able to use it and look at it. Um, with that, I'll, I'll go into the, the, the world trajectory use case, or you will go into the world trajectory use case. So I'll hand over, thank you. So imagine if you will. <laughs> The idea behind this really is to engage the users and have that working space in the collaboration area. So with uh, the idea that the data provider has entries into your system of record, but also potentially into the collaboration projects where the interpretation users can select data, find data based on technical assurance is this data the data that I actually want to use? Working you know, continually through each, each phase, whether it's geological modeling, well planning, otherwise, being able to search on the technical assurance levels associated with the data to find the data that's best for their use. As the data provider potentially puts, you know, adds data into OSDU, users can tag that to make sure that it's suitable for your given workflows. As the interpretation goes through in your collaboration project, I can create and stamp my derivative data and apply that back into the SOR for 
the next person in line. And it continues on so that through the entire process, you're able to create, understand the proper usage of the data or the best usage of the data, the understand the people who have looked at it, publish the appropriate data back into the system of record for future use. So again, back to being able to have work in progress that maybe you don't really want everybody to see, but then when you finally have your finished project or products, you can stamp them, label them, let everyone else understand that there's trusted data that's pushed back into your SOR. So the suitable data enables your confidence to understand where you can begin with trustable data. High confidence from your interpretations allows you the certified outcomes for future use. And geoscience, you know, geoscientists, engineers, anyone who is beginning to look and search for this information that's been generated and promoted can then pull that and work within the collaboration project or extract in for the next phases of well planning and additional phases throughout. The project and workspaces allows you to really begin to look at the workflows over and above the data storage and data management in OSDU and provides the, I said, the workflow and the working areas to promote applications and the typical, you know, to support the end users. Um, and with that, I will hand back to Pete. Thank you. So on this slide, um, we've tabulated what, what support we require from the forum and, and the community. And um, we, we are interested in all use cases. Yeah? So that, is, um, that, that, that defines for us the template what we will work on. Um, we are interested in the edge cases, yes, but we are more interested, of course, into the, in, into the, the usual cases, uh, which is, of course, the, the focus for the development always. Um, we had some very good um, work, working sessions uh, in the last two days. One thing that I learned is um, that um, we need support for, for EDS, yeah, so when you build your, your shopping cart of, of uh, data you want to work with, um, being able to put in EDS uh, records into that temporarily um, makes a lot of sense. Uh, technically, probably very challenging to do that, but um, we're happy to take that on, on and, 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 and bring that into our workflow. Um, so when it comes to existing uh, uh, code that sits uh, or is, is already uh, in, in OS to you, where do we need connects to um, the wellbore DDMS I think we got most of what we need, but we have uh, open switches in, in other DDMS services. Uh, it mostly concerns the um, um, implementation of namespaces. But um, so all of the DDMS groups are, are encouraged um, to perhaps connect with us, or if we connect with them, uh, please support us in our, in our, in our journey. Um, um, of course, it requires a lot of technical definition and technical deep dives, and um, so there's a bit of effort required and special expertise, uh, the limited expertise often um, when it comes to specific uh, DDMSs, and um, it wasn't easy in the past to get to this um, uh, special expertise, so, so your help supporting us um, is, is required. Um, what are we planning for the next uh, MVP2 and, and generally in future? Um, with MVP1 or what we call MVP1, it's really the bare backbones. Yeah? It's, uh, it's also a, a release that we want to create uh, or a package that we want to create to kick something out and, and to test the, the, the process of uh, having a development team um, and going through the notions of, of uh, making this available. Yeah? Um, so the big ticket items are notifications, I mentioned that already, passing uh, uh, messages 
uh, on certain events. Um, the activity model, what is done with the data, is, is of course an obvious thing um, that you want to attach to to data um, uh, the records once you change them. Um, <clears throat> there is a connect to business decision, which is also quite obvious. Um, you, your project has a certain uh, business driver that needs to be recorded and connect the business uh, uh, decision with the data is, uh, is an obvious thing. Um, one box missing here is this uh, EDS, as I mentioned, um, which is, will be added to the, to the work scope of the future uh, releases. Uh, with that, I see we have um, a few minutes for Q&A. Thanks for your attention so far. Hoop, please. Yeah, thank you very much for this uh, presentation. It's, it's more of a remark, really. Uh, first of all, really excited to see MVP1 is happening and that we can uh, actually have a look at it and test it uh, very soon. Uh, to us, this is super important because uh, uh, we want to avoid that we get all, well, let's put it this way, uh, uh, the geosciences are a very creative process. There's always a lot of, uh, of data being generated, uh, which is definitely not, not necessarily a final deliver uh, deliverable. And yeah, we really don't want this kind of data back in our system of record. So that's why this is so important for us. We also want to be sure that there is interoperability on, uh, on uh, projects and workflow services so that we can, in our collaborative environment, ensure that our in-house and also external applications work with this. So, uh, t t very important aspects for us. And, yeah, I would like to underline a little bit the call, the call for action. Um, we really hope that, uh, that more people uh, uh, are, are going to contribute to this and, and be part of this adventure. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Questions? Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you.